What is up guys, my name is PJ here from Emperor Gaming and today we're back with a Call of Duty Ghosts commentary and the topic of today's um, commentary will be remade maps and recently I saw on a video of T. Martins, I'll put, his, I'll put the link to the video in the description below um, I saw in his video that he talked about how on Xbox One uh, the map pack, the new map pack was screwed up so he came out with the name Map Pack 2 instead of the original name and all the maps they had weird names like um like Red River it was like it was like a code name and um one of the like the fourth map was Dome and that got a lot of people talking they thought maybe possibility of Dome coming back to MW or not MW to Call of Duty Ghosts from MW3 NW3 holy poop um that to me would be epic so I decided to take action and make my own list of the five maps that I would love to see back in Call of Duty Ghosts. Alright, so let's go over to number five. I oh, want a quick note by the way. Maps, if you want to make your own, which I suggest leaving the comment in the um, comment section below, um, only Infinity Ward, because Infinity Ward is the maker of Ghosts, so they wouldn't use any Treyarch maps from like Black Ops. Alright, number five. Number five for me would have to be Rust from MW2. A lot of people love that map. It was um, fast-paced, small. Um, fucked you up the rump though when it came to kill streaks, but it was still a great map. And you had that like little center, mm, uh, whatever you want to call it, cluster fuck or whatever, right in the center. Uh, not a lot of campers. Good spots even if you were a sniper. That map to me was great. And for number, I have number four and number three um, combined because they're really similar in the sense that they both came out at the same time. Um, Erosion and Underground from the free Face Off map pack from MW3. Um, face Off was probably my favorite game mode, MW3, if not all time. And it was just amazing. And Face Off, if they could bring that back into Call of Duty Ghosts along with a remake of Erosion and the Ground. As like a free DLC, kind of like what they did in MW3, that would be epic. Because three v three, two v two, you can just shit talk some kids and then go into a map and just kick their asses. And those maps were great. They were nice and small. They weren't OP. They had good spots for search and destroy. And it really just made it epic playing on those maps. So um, let's head on over to number two. Number two for me comes from Modern Warfare 2. And um, number two is High Rise. That map was great. You got the. It was, first of all, let's start off by saying it was beautiful. It was greatly made. Love the aesthetics of it. And, you know, you got that giant helicopter in the back. And it was great for domination. It was insane. And you saw that pretty cool capture right there, I know. But um, it was insane for domination. And the fact that you're just, just destroying shit. And um, you had that little sniper glitch, although in the back corner where you can get all the way up, even on top of the one of the buildings. To me, that was really fun. I did that a couple times. I'm not a big sniper, obviously, but um, I still love to do that. Oh, I just have one of those moments where you think you got to sneeze, but you don't. And it makes you think like you're choking on oxygen. Really weird. Happens to me all the time. But, um... Right before number one, we're going to have quick honorable mentions, but first I want to talk about the gameplay because I realized I never did. Fast paced, Call of Duty Go, Strike Zone, Blitz, Bulldog, Gameplay. One point was like 5 and 9, but it made a good comeback to like 22 and 15, I forget. But, I'm an idiot for not saying that first, but uh, that was a good kill there, I don't know how I got that one. But anyway, honorable mentions. Some honorable mentions would have to go to um, Pipeline from MW3, uh, MW3, MW1, COD4, <laughs> Jesus. Um... Wetworks from COD4. Um, Bog from COD4. I don't know why I like that. It was just good for face-off. As you can tell, I love face-off types of maps. Um, MW2, Favilla, even though all the controversy around that. If you don't know what that is, just look it up. MW2, Favilla controversy. I'm blanking out on the, la on the other MW2 map. Son of a bitch. I can't think of it. But whatever. And then MW3, I really liked Resistance. To me, that map was amazing. Number one. Number one for me comes from um, Call of Duty 4, 
and this map was nuts. Um, shit, man, I don't, shit, I don't have enough time. I don't have a lot of time. But shit, man, it was insane. Got, like, little coverage. Got no campers, you know. It was freaking insane. Just shooting kids, you know, headquarters on that. Maybe I should, like, the thing get planted. You know, 20-minute headquarters going, like, 100 and 120. That, to me, was nuts. Like, barely anywhere to stay. And this kill for me was unfortunate, but whatever. And just shipment, one of my favorite maps of all time. And, um, so, thank you guys for watching. Remember to like, rate, comment, subscribe. Comment down below your top playlist, and I'll see you guys later. Peace out.